welcome. Today I'm doing a full tutorial on this makeup look. This is actually a look that I wore in a previous video. I wore this in my Westman Atelier Holiday Le Box video and I had a few requests to show you how I did the look and particularly the eye, so I wanted to do that today. This is essentially my ultimate holiday party makeup look, so if you'd like to see how I did it, just keep on watching. So I'm going to show you how I did the whole look, but I'm only going to do a really in-depth tutorial of the eye part, but I did film the rest of it, so I'm going to show you that sped up with music behind it. Uh, I'll show you how I did my foundation and the rest of the base that got me to this point. And everything I'm going to show you in the clips, but it's also going to be listed below. So you can watch that and then I'll be back to show you the rest of the look with the eyes and I'll finish off with the lips. To let you know, I actually topped off the highlighter with the highlighter in this Natasha Denona Light Glam Face Palette. So once I had decided for sure that I was going to be doing a tutorial on this look, I wrote down all the steps that I did so I would hopefully be able to recreate it as accurately as possible. So I'm going to be following my own instructions for this. And I started off with the Victoria Beckham Bordeaux Liner and I just put that all along my lash line and a tiny little bit up into the outer corner there. And then I use my Wayne Goss 06 brush to basically blend it all over the eyelid pretty much. It's just gonna serve as a base. And then just with a slight kind of emphasis right on the outer corner here. So that's what I've got. And then I just take the excess on the brush and draw it along the lower lash line all the way along here. And now that I have the base of that Bordeaux liner, I'm going to go into my Victoria Beckham T Rose Lid Luster. And I'm going to use my Sonia G Worker brush from the Lotus set. And basically, I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. 
And then I'm also going to pull a little bit of it very lightly, again, all the way along the lower lash line. And for pulling it along my lower lash line, and also just to make sure it gets into these inner corners here, um, I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss 06 brush again. Now I'm taking another single shadow. This is the Bobbi Brown Opal Moonstone, and it's another rose gold color, but a slightly smoother texture than the Victoria Beckham's and a little bit lighter too. A lot of this look for me is kind of about playing with a monochromatic color scheme, but layering different textures, seeing how all of that works together. So I'm using my Sonia G Lotus Builder brush for this, and I just went into that Bobbi Brown shadow. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner as well as through the center of the eyelid, kind of on a little bit of a diagonal. Gonna take a bit of that on my finger too. Just intensifying that color through the center of the lid. Back with the brush again, taking a little bit more of the Bobbi Brown shadow and just actually blending all the way around the edges up here, all the way right up to the brows. This can depend on your eye shape, how, how far you want to bring this up and how much lid space you have. I don't have a whole lot of lid space, so I'll often bring my shadow right up to the brows. I'll blend it around the edges too, and along the lower lash line, just at the kind of bottom edge of where it's already been blended. So you can see already, although these are both rose gold shades. There are different levels of depth and different textures, so you can really see the contrast there. Okay, now I'm going to prepare my eye for the next shadow that I want to add in, and I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Artistry Wand. If you don't have this, you could use something like um, Mac Fix Plus or a glitter glue. I'm just going to take this on my Refer 21 brush, really loading it up. I'm gonna place this on the inner corner. Over top of where I applied that Bobbi Brown shadow. And I'm also going to bring it up right into the inner crease right here in a little line. And I'm also gonna place it right over the center of where I applied that opal moonstone. It's not covering the whole area that has that shadow on it, but just right through the center. Just kind of patting it on so I don't disturb the shadow underneath. And the last eyeshadow I'm using is from the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette, and I'm using the Astral shade, this one right here. It's a beautiful kind of warm champagne, but it seems to have a little bit of a pink in it too, so it has kind of a rose gold quality, even though it's a very light shade. I'm taking my Morphe M213 brush. It's a tiny little brush that I find really, really useful. And I'm gonna place that astral shade right over where I had painted on that artistry wand. So it's gonna be very amplified and it's gonna stick there. So on the inner corner, pulling it a little bit along the lower lash line, about the inner quarter to the inner third. And then also along this line here that I drew in with the artistry wand. So you can see again that it's kind of a, a very, very pale version of a rose gold. And I'm gonna take it on my finger for the center part of the lid. And now that I've got that on, I'm gonna go back with my T-Rose 
back with that first um, Lotus Worker brush that I used. It's quite a, a large, well, for me, it's quite a large kind of blending brush. And I'm just gonna reinforce that color on the outer part of the lid and on this part right in between those two sections where I have the astral shade. Just blending a little bit right in here too. So this is serving the dual purpose of reintroducing that tea rose shade so that it doesn't get lost with everything else that I've put on top of it. And it is also just helping to blend in the edges of where I'd placed that astral shade. All of these shadows that I've used today definitely have the potential for fallout and I do have a little bit of fallout. I'm just gonna take this large fluffy brush into my powder. This is the Gucci powder. I'm just gonna try and lightly kind of flick away the worst of that fallout. The first time I did this look, I actually did my eyes before my base. So if you are concerned about fallout, I definitely recommend doing that because as I said, all of these shadows have given me fallout in the past and they did today too. Okay, the eyes are almost finished. I forgot that I also used another shade from this Pat McGrath palette, this one here, the Skin Show shade in this palette. And I'm just gonna take that on a little brush and run it along my brow bone. I'm also gonna run it along the lower lash line. Just kind of helps to finish off the look and make sure that everything is blended really nicely. So now it's time for liner and mascara. I'm gonna take my Victoria Beckham Bordeaux liner. I will show you this part of it. Running this again along the upper lash line. A slight little flick out at the edge there. And then taking my Wayne Goss 7 brush and just blending that. Adding a touch more right at the outer corner there and making sure that it's gotten all the way into the inner corner. And to fully finish off the eye, I'm taking my Victoria Beckham Cocoa Liner. I'm gonna pull that along the upper waterline, and then I'm gonna take mascara on my upper and lower lashes. I'll probably do two coats on the top lashes. And then I'll be back and we'll finish up with the lips and we'll have the completed look. Okay, here are the eyes all finished. Just gonna to top up the blush a little bit. And now I'm ready to do the lips. So in the video where I originally wore this look, I was lip swatching the Westman Atelier Bordeaux Lip Suede. But today I'm gonna to use a different lipstick. I'm going to go with my Lisa Eldridge Velvet Blush Lipstick and I'm gonna line it with her Myth Liner. I think that this lip will go really nicely with this look. Now that I have one layer of the lipstick on, I'm going in with the liner. And I'll top it all off with the lipstick again. And now assessing the look as a whole, I feel like I need a little bit more blush again. So I'm just gonna go back into that blush and just kind of keep patting that on until everything looks in balance. And I'll throw on a little bit more highlighter. Again, the Natasha Denona. And here's the completed look. This to me is the ultimate holiday party look. So I hope you enjoyed watching me create this. I hope it was helpful if you were wanting to recreate it yourself. When I created this look, it was for that video where I was going to be lip swatching a number of different shades of 
lip. So that palette in particular has a nude, a red, a sort of mid-tone nude, and uh, a really deep berry tone. So I wanted to create a look that would work with multiple different lip colors. So if this is not a lip color that you like or the effect that you want, there's really such a wide range of tones that will work with this whole look. It's, although it's, you know, very bright and sparkly and um, certainly has that rose gold and burgundy quality to the eye, it's actually quite neutral and can pair with so many different lip colors. So feel free to play around with that aspect of the look as well. I'm actually kind of curious to try this look with different color schemes. I can imagine maybe doing this with gold or with champagne, really any color, even like a purple, like an amethyst look or a green would be beautiful. And I think it's just a matter of sticking with that concept of staying within the same color family but using different shades of that color or different tones of the color and different textures and just building that all on top of each other. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I always love to see those and if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd really love for you to do so. Thanks again so much. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!